Mike here from All Pro Quality Garage Doors in sunny San Diego. I haven't done a video in a while. I've just been letting my collection here amass from what we've taken down. And, uh, you know, I'll tell you the truth, I haven't found anything real interesting that I wanted to take apart yet. So the collection's been building, but I, got, I came across a real beauty the other day. It's called a Holmes Halley Series 700. And this baby is rare. They've been obsolete for probably, completely obsolete for probably 20 years. Uh, the remotes are exceptionally hard to find. And you don't come across these every day. I hooked up a uh, wall button wire to it, tested it out, and it actually works. But it has a short rail, so it's made for a one-piece wood door only. Now, you can always tell a Holmes machine by this fantastic, clean, good-looking, hammered nickel finish. It's a beautiful case. It's a small, compact motor head. So let me take the case off and we'll take a look inside of this rare bird. Okay, now, just like most machines, pretty easy. Starting capacitor, circuit board. The difference is gonna be the limits and the sensitivity and the limit adjustments on here. Pretty busy street here, so you're gonna get a little bit of road noise, but I'm gonna to try to explain the reversing system right here. If you can see my screwdriver, there's a little yellow yoke right there, and there's a micro switch right here that goes both ways. It's on a slot, so when it hits something, the motor tweaks and it pushes that yoke, clicks the micro switch in both directions. That's the reversing system for this Holmes Halley 700 series. Okay, now on the on the up and the down limits, there's another micro switch right here. And you've got a little yoke right there that swings back and forth. It swivels this plate right here and makes a contact. You can see how that's moving. Now I'm going to activate it and you'll see it work. Bing, shuts off. Hit it again, comes off of it, and does it again in the other direction. You can see that little white nut right here traveling. It's gonna hit this little V and shut it off. Bang, excellent. Okay, now, on the back panel, you've got your 1 through 12 dip switches right there. You've got your antenna. Like I said, it's been obsolete for so long, I don't remember what frequency it ran on. You've got your closing force, your open force. You got your door travel adjustment, open and close, and your 1 and 2 terminals. Now the top of the case, as you can see, is vented. It's open to expel some heat. One of the bad things is, is dust and dirt can get in there pretty easy. Now the outer trolley is steel. The inner trolley, which is buried deep in the rail, I'll show you in a minute, that's all plastic. And the screw is literally a corkscrew shape. We'll show you that later. But right now, I want you guys to hear this thing. It's got a very stout galvanized steel rail. And for an older machine, it's pretty quiet. I know I got a lot of road noise, but I'm going to operate it right now, see if you guys can hear this thing. Okay, so here you've got the inner trolley right here. You can see the screw down in here. 
This was probably one of the uh, one of the earlier models that had a plastic housing surrounding the screw to keep it from wobbling. I'm going to send it on down its way so you can see how this travels and how the screw spins. One of the bad things about this Holmes machine was if you had it connected to a door, you could pry the door open and the screw would spin backwards. So they put a little lock mechanism on here. You can see this as it comes down, clicks into there and locks. He's been gone for a long time, so I don't remember exactly how the pin sat in here and how it undid itself. but. Uh, you know, they had to add that because the screw would spin backwards and you could force a door open. got the case back on this nickel coated door opening piece of lusciousness and normally I'd strip the machine down junk it show you guys the parts but this one was just too good I'm gonna hang on to it so if any of you guys are in the local San Diego area and you want it let me know it's probably about seven or eight feet long, so I don't think I'll be shipping it anywhere. But uh, anybody in the area wants it, it's free. Come on down and get it. Now, the wall button on this thing, from what I can remember, was a long thing with an arrow on it. And it was one of the first machines that would ever have a, a monitor of some sorts that would tell you when it's open and closed that you could also put in one of the other bedrooms or something and it would blank at you or the air would tell you whether it's open or not. I don't know what horsepower this is. The remotes were typical, kind of like the old Chamberlain's. They were long, black, and had a white button. And of course, in the sun, they'd banana had a lot of you know the typical problems but all in all a good quiet machine and uh, very rare so I'm gonna put this one back in the shop and uh, hope you enjoyed the tour